Hey, hey guys, Tempicro here. We're about to enter a game of League of Legends on the blue team field Wildfire Zara, Nurse Akali, hello Nurse, Corky, Battle Bunny Riven, and Charred Maokai. On the right team, we have Evelyn, Graves, Jaximus, Blue Screen, and Nightmare Cho'Gath. So, in the, in the jungle, we'll have Maokai versus Cho'Gath. They're slow, steady junglers, uh, definitely have their strengths and weaknesses regarding early game, uh, early level ganking. On top, we'll have uh, Riven versus Jaximus versus Jax. Uh, in the middle we'll have Akali versus Eve. Bottom will be Quirky Zyra versus Blitzcrank Graves. Now Blitzcrank Graves is one of the toughest, insanest bottom laners ever. He pulls and Blitzcrank pulls and Graves doesn't even have to use his dash to get into the faces of the enemies. We are almost seven minutes in. It's 1-3 for the red team. They're leading. Evelyn ganking top Riven. Now she is one of the champions that will always, 60% oh, of the time, uh, lose their lane. Uh, and I'm not saying anything bad about it. Uh, it's just that her particular uh, playstyle is that she can't always go up against every mage. She's meant to roam and she's perfect for it. Uh, while I was sorting this out, uh, it is 1-1 one, one, uh, and 25 CS on Riven versus 39 CS Jax with 1-1. One, one. They're both very close, um, Riven having the double long sword, which means she will probably go for the brutalizer once she recalls. Akali is recalling, she has the amplifying dome potions and boots she is she isn't going to recall as Zyra uses her uh, snare to catch Blitzcrank Akali jumping on him he is ignited Akali gets pulled and Corky picks up the kill Akali is sur not surviving as Graves used ignite on her picking up a kill making it one for one in that bottom lane Evelyn again Roaming, it is 17 more or less mid laners are around level 6 and they are notorious for roaming, especially if you're playing assassins like Akali and Nidalee. Their Nidal Akali's jumps and Nidalee's natural style that is being revealed near that turret. She takes the turret, is stunned, and lets Jax picks up the kill as she runs away through the blue team's creeps to go back home to heal as she just got an assist. She has 1000 gold to spend. She'll pick a blasting, pick up a blasting wand. Jack's pushing that lane as he does not he doesn't have mana, but he is he has health so he can push that lane and then recall and buy something nice as he has also 1000 gold to spend. Could be brutalizer. It could be vampiric scepter. It could be even a giant's belt that he buys, and he goes for the phage. He had the long sword that goes into the phage. Uh, Blitzkrank returning. Akali and Evelyn finally back into the middle. Akali is a slightly better farmer. She did die once. She picked up another amplifying tone, so she's going for that. Hextech Revolver first. Akal Evelyn dealing lots of damage to Akali, forcing Akali to recall. Akali, I think, has the enough money to buy pardon, to buy the revolver now. Yep. And Evelyn going around bottom to gank as the Graves Blitzcrank combo is pushing that lane very hard. They're also in the lead. They are building up a nice advantage. 2000 gold in their favor. Uh, Evelyn warding. Yep, I think Evelyn warded. So that they see when the enemy team is on the red buff. Three kills in their favor. And I think no dragons yet. Baron will be spawning for the first time soon. She'll get entering the enemy jungle as Akali is gone. She is in the base. I think she is AFK, which, is, which would be a shame. Bottom is being pushed and Graves 
died. And I think Corky picked up Graves died. Uh, to Corky's damage, as you can see, he got caught by Zyra's ultimate. He flashed away into him and just auto. I think it was the ultimate or auto attack that finally got him. Choget coming in from behind, he'll take an easy kill on Zyra as he hits her with his silence and rapture. Picks up the kill. Her passive won't do much, and Evelyn is chasing after Corky, which she's trying to do. Corky lands on Rapture, he uses Barrier, and doesn't get away as Evelyn hates Spike, picks up the kill. Very nicely played. Uh, the red team isn't warding that much, the blue team definitely has those wards, that at least one ward, as the, uh, the one at the dragon expired. The red team has a mid ward, so Akali can see the jungler coming. Evelyn coming in from behind, getting near her turret, uh, making Akali go away. And they also have the red buff ward. The blue team is probably there as well, just in case. Akali in trouble, they don't see her as she's close to her turret, jumps on minions to heal up a bit and walk away. She is definitely having that disciple, both disciples, uh, both disciplines, sorry, both disciplines. Red team pushing again. Corky is definitely in a slight advantage, especially since he has the double Doran blade and vampiric scepter, which is the same for Graves. Only Corky has the advanced boots. Graves is working on them. Uh, top, I know I haven't mentioned much about Top. It is definitely a lane that is in favor of Jax. With his 21... Uh, 91 CS. 2-1 um, score. And Riven will have definite troubles dealing with that. On bottom, Zyra goes down uh, to... Graves, letting Corky pick up the kill on him, and Blitzcrank is running away. Not sure if he will try to confront him or not. Evelyn, with the help of Shoggy, finished off Akali in the middle. And she almost got Evelyn, as she doesn't have any more mana. Uh, Akali has 850 gold, not sure what she'll buy, maybe she'll continue to save up. Um, Zyra picking up a rejuvenation bead, a fairy charm and some pink wards. There's a pink ward from the red team on the dragon. Chogad one feast away from his full potential and he won't be Kibi Chogi no more. Poor Kibi Chogi. Uh, 4, 9, 15, 13, 14 minutes in, uh, 400, 4,000 gold difference in favor of the red team. They're definitely a better farmers. Evelyn and Akali at it again in the middle. Akali, de Evelyn dealing, dishing out a lot of damage. Forcing Akali, who just returned into the lane, back out of it again. This is never good. And Evelyn tried to turret dive and get the kill. Could be that the red team will go for dragon. Uh, they can do it uncontested. As Maokai is walking around and back into his jungle, Zyra and Quirky are pushing. They get the red team gets the dragon. Quirky free farming, trying to. Uh, He's definitely stronger than Graves at this point, but it's a very close call. Uh, Evelyn picking up a kill on Corky, and Zara did use her ultimate to try to save Graves, but Blitzcrank uh, trying to save Corky, but Blitzcrank pulls pulls spot on. Evelyn going back into her lane. She is one level above Akali with a 401 and 76 CS uh, versus an Akali of 0 to 1 and 60 CS. That's the thing, um, I think, with the Assassins. Uh, 
If you watch your early game, uh, Graves and Blitzcrank returning to their base. Graves picking up BF Swords, so he'll start either working on an uh, early Bloodthirster, as he has that Vampiric Scepter, or leave the Vampiric Scepter a bit longer and going for the Infinity Edge. Um, and I'm wagering that he will get the early Bloodthirster. Blitzcrank picked up the Ruby Sidestone, an upgraded version of Sidestone, and Evelyn picking up the um, Rabidon Deathcap and some wards so that she can roll freely. Quirky cleaning that ward out. Top is not worrying, Top is left alone. Neither jungler came up. Jax can handle Riven on his own. Um, he is definitely out creeping her. Uh, uh, ah, Maokai lands in with his snare, his ultimate, forcing Blitzcrank to pull back and forcing his shield. Corky chase, Corky and Zyra chases. His Blitzcrank shield will go expire soon. They still chase. He gets caught. Zyra gets pulled. She flashes, flashes out and Corky picks up the kill. They're both on low health, so they want to dive graves. Plus, with him being short range, um, short range AD carry, um, that would give him the benefit of his full maximum potential or full damage that he can do, that he can deal. Riven going down as both Evelyn and Chogat show up and they turret dive her, leaving the minions to deal with the dead turret, making their red team's advantage high already. Maokai picking up his red and Graves free farming, Quirky picking up BF sword and Zyra picking up some pink wards. So she already in the last recall she had uh, Philosopher's Stone. Evelyn picks up the second turret of the game in the middle as Akali is uh, standing there idly. She has 1400 gold. She's probably saving for the needlessly large road so she can get the get Rabadon. Eve attacking the second lane, the last lane in turret, dealing lots of damage to Maokai. Let's go back to see what that was because even now I'm interested. So that was him throwing off the sapling, he turning around, queuing and ravage. Oh god, just wow. She is definitely um, an unstoppable dangerous force if she can deal in two hits with two abilities, uh, take half health of a tank. Yes, Malka isn't tanky yet, he has 2-0-2 score. Bottom is pushing, uh, Zyra is going to recall, Corky is going for that kill, he dodged uh, Blitzcrank's grab and forced Blitzcrank's passive again, it's a small shield, uh, Evelyn coming in from behind Corky, but Corky saw her as she passed through a pink ward, that won't help Corky, uh, he popped barrier, he's low on health, he's ignited and Evelyn picks up a very easy kill. It's at this point, Evelyn is so fed that it's basically uh, all a joke to her. I uh, adore Evelyn. Uh, she is definitely one of my favorite at the moment mid lane champions. Grace Pitt taking out their last, um, their first bottom turret, while Jax took both top. Uh, and mid last laning turrets. The only one left on top and middle are the inhibitor turrets. So they're definitely pressing their advantage. They're 12,000 gold above and 5 to 12 kills in the lead. Zara going down to Graves. There is Chogat to help him if needed, which wasn't. 
and they're pushing that lane. Uh, the blue team can't stop them now. Um, Akali and Riven are AFK, as it seems. They're not moving out of the base at all, so they gave up. And this is a high low match. Uh, yes, it's the preseason, but it's still a high low match. And I hate in normals when it happens. And I believe that the high elo players hate it when it happens in their games. And players from the enemy team that are, that are losing have a tantrum. If they played properly, they could have turned the game around. If not, it would still have been more better if they were working as a team and it's really sad to see this. 20... Uh, one minute in, Evelyn taking out the mid inhibitor turret. Bottom lost the inhibitor. They're going for the second inhibitor. Zyra getting caught. Evelyn picking up the kill. Porky taking out Jax, he never built up to have a killing spree, but he Jax still taken out. Cho get numbed quirky, because at this point they're all doing out tons of damage that in two or three hits someone will die. The fights will be especially three on two, uh, three on five will definitely go in a few seconds. They take the Last inhibitor turret and the inhibitor. Really sad that two blue team members are went AFK. Zyra using an ultimate, trying to stop them fighting till the end, but it won't be enough and red team victory. 